Hello everyone. Today, uh, the article that I'll be using to explain, um, you know, grammar structures and vocabulary in context and pronunciation, is this one titled "Harry has turned against military," says ex commander. Um, yeah, here basically everything is uh, is. Uh, is clear. I don't have. I don't think I have to explain anything. Oh yeah, this one, this verb. Let me, let me, highlight it, or underline it. This one. This one. This verb is really. I call it versatile, because it can be used with, um, like, anything with verb. For example, turn purple, turn purple. Turn purple is when some some something is or or is taking the 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 color purple or turn turn bad bad it takes basically the the meaning of the adjective right or even the meaning of prepositions turn around means circle right turn around or like in this sense against which is the opposite of for which is in favor of turn for turn for and turn against turn for and turn against right but something is or somebody is not in favor of of something right is the same as turn against turn against his family or turn against his um, political party etc but this one says Harry has turned against um, military which means that he did something uh, like wrong or something that he should not uh, uh, do right so just continuing with the article uh, let me put up pull up the text here a retired commanding officer has accused Prince Harry of turning against his military family after having trashed his birth family. Here, I think I already explained in, in, in a couple of occasions about the use of um, the preposition after, after and if we have a verb like in this case having we must use the ing because that's the correct grammatical structure after having if we write after to have then it's incorrect right we should be really aware of uh, or at least recognize the prepositions so that we avoid this kind of grammatical mistakes after after having trashed and I'm gonna give like a definition or a synonym for the word trashed trashed for example I'm gonna illustrate this like um, also with the verb wrecked wrecked which is more formal or destroy the reputation of right that's also the meaning of it trashed his birth family he's basically destroyed the reputation or wrecked his birth family so i think the writer is also stating that he did possibly the same with the military family right in his memoir memoir is a uh, um memoir can be a um report perhaps or a journal or an account or it could be a book right can also be that memoir account book um, story etc those are synonyms for this word the Duke of Sussex describes killing and pay attention to this verb here describes killing Whenever we use the verb describe, right, we must use the verb that comes describe. Describes singing, for example. Describes singing. 
we must use the verb in or we must write the verb in ing like in this sense that's why i like to uh, teach about grammatical structure and and vocabulary in context because this is the best example of or the best way to illustrate or teach any grammatical structure or any word right so killing 25 taliban fighters fighters in afghanistan as chess pieces taken off the board chess pieces taken off the board so chess pieces something easy or um, i will further we will get uh, more context of this phrase chess pieces x call nail call nail so when we pronounce the word call colon colonel we don't have to to pronounce the word or the l i mean so this is a mistake that many of my students make when they want to pronounce the word colonel something like that colonel right colonel tim collings said another word some some people mispronounce this word as said i know that um, if we pay attention to the pronunciation pattern here a i when the, we have them both together then we can of course pronounce this one as m sorry about that as a for example in the word main or rain or stain with this combination a i the pronunciation of this pattern is a but in this case said is an exception and is pronounced like a right the pronunciation of said in this sense is um like an a like a, i will write it like in capital a said said that was not how you behave in the army prince harry gives details about his time as a helicopter pilot in Afghanistan in his memoir spare BBC News has obtained a copy here has obtained is a present perfect we use a present perfect here has BBC News has has in the present perfect we use two forms we use has and we use have we use have and has plus the past participle of the verbs has participle participle past participle of the verbs and um, like in this case obtain obtained is like um, um, is a regular verb that's why it is it finishes with ED. and the pronunciation of it if we write the word obtain here obtain obtain before the ED we have to um, have this clear if uh, or yeah if we have a an N or an M or L or R etc consonant that 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 are voiced the pronunciation of these is a D. For example, ob obtained, obtained. But if the consonant before the ed is a silent one, which is in this case a sibilant, the ed is pronounced t. Washed. She washed the dishes yesterday. But there's another variation for this one is, is it is when we have the T. The T before the E D. The E D is pronounced it. Wanted. She wanted it. Right? I hope you understand this basic um, the pronunciation of the 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 verbs in past, the simple past and past participle if they are regular verbs. 
uh, it was put on sale early in Spain. In it, Prince Harry reveals for the first time that he killed 25 enemy fighters, which is perfectly possible after two tours in the Helmand region of the country. I don't think I have to explain here anything. Well, I think I have to, I can review, let me um, underline an important piece here, which is the use of the particle Li. The particle Li is used with adjectives to turn them into adverbs. For example, easy, easily, or sad, um, sadly, or um, stuff like that, right? When we have an adjective, we can add li, which means that you are turning this one into uh, an upper. It wasn't a it wasn't a statistic that filled me with pride, filled me with pride, or made me feel proud. Is the same thing made me feel proud or filled me with pride but nor um, did it make me ashamed when we use nor especially when we use a negative when we use a negative here we need to make sure that we um, we need to order the things uh, um, different right did it make me ashamed nor did it make me ashamed right nor it made me ashamed is incorrect so we have to use the auxiliary did which indicate that this sentence is in past and then we have to use it before the subject as if it was the order of a question right whenever we have a negative upper or a negative or here before then we have to use the um, the auxiliary um, before right before the subject when I was uh, plunged into the heat and confusion of battle I didn't think about and here didn't 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 is um, the simple past in negative it is the use of the simple passing negative so we didn't I didn't or we didn't we didn't travel right we didn't travel we didn't travel or we did not we did not go to the party we did not go to the party right and we need to make sure that we use the verb in its basic form because if we do it like we did we didn't we didn't went like most of my students um, do when they're writing or sometimes when they speak because we're using a double past here we are using didn't which is also which is the past and went which is the past and we are speaking in Spanish even we even if we are using English or writing English uh, so we have to write this one in its basic form which is go we didn't go and then we continue with the rest and the same rule is used with all the verbs it doesn't matter if, if they're regular or irregular so the same rule is applicable when we use the negative those as 25 people you can kill people if you see them as one you can't the pronunciation here is can't can't can kill people if you see them as people in truth or in truth another one can be honestly you can hurt people if you see them so we can give a synonym for this one in truth or honestly honestly you can hurt people if you see them as one and I want to explain the pronunciation pattern for this one er hurt when we when we have the U R together 
in English and the word um yeah um like in this case is a one syllable word the pronunciation of the U R is er like heard 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 for example fur right fur and the same pronunciation is true when we have the word um or the combination um I are smur smur the same thing the same pronunciation even even if the the letters are different you are an I are but the pronunciation in English is the same hurt fur smur people if you see them as people they were chess pieces taken off the board bad guys eliminated before they kill good guys they trained me and here again we have an N so the pronunciation of the ED here is gonna be a D so the pronunciation here is train could be trained like that trained trained me to other them and they train me well responding to the prince comments here is a prince prince we have an apostrophe here we have different kinds of apostrophes or contractions in english like this one or like this one the use is different prince when we have a noun here or a name of a person then we use the apostrophe and the s is possession right of the prince so that's the meaning of the prince for example the prince car or the car of the prince right prince so this is the uh, a possession right indicates belonging but here is the use of the verb he, he is a doctor he's a doctor he's a doctor or she's a nurse she's a nurse and here again we have the U R. so the pronunciation here is nurse nurse heard fur smirn the same the same pronunciation so we are learning also this pattern a senior taliban leader ns Hakani tweeted tweeted and here is another example of the another example of the um, pronunciation of the ED um, here we have the T and before and after the D we have the ED so that means we have to pronounce this one as tweeted sorry about that Gosh. Let me close this here. And let me remove the line. I think it's not over there. Yes. So let me activate the text. And moving on, I don't. Yeah, this one. Tweeted Mr. Harris. The ones you killed were not chess pieces, they were humans. They had families who were waiting for their return. Something, something I would like to explain here with is the use of the word um, had the verb and the word who. When do we use who? Who is used when we want to when we want to talk about when we when, or before before we have a person or a noun for example he he is the guy here guy is a person or a noun who right that's why we use who who is used with people sometimes we can use that but um, who I think is is um, it's better it's better if, if, we, if we are using you know if we're gonna be evaluated or test about our grammar knowledge so had is the past of have they had families who 
were waiting for their return. I don't expect that the International Criminal Court will summon, summon you or the human rights activists will condemn you. Summon is when somebody is called uh, to court because that person did something illegal. So summon, summon is when somebody is called to court, right? But um, and the activist and the, the the person, Mister or the leader, NS Hakini, is stating that perhaps the the prince is not gonna be uh, condemned because they are deaf and blind for you. Deaf and blind means that it's, it's, it's just something they are not interested, right? Because they are in favor of a person. You are deaf and blind for her. You are deaf and blind for her. You are deaf and blind for her, right? Captivated or um, uh, even if that person uh, does something wrong to you, you're gonna be deaf and blind. I'm not gonna be uh, paying attention to um, the repercussion of what that person did, right? So it's the same here. Speaking to Forces News, retired commanding officer Connell Collins condemned the book by calling it a tragic money-making scam money-making scam right I don't think I have to explain anything here retired is being used as a an adjective retired commanding is also an adjective here and I think I, I explained the order of adjectives when we use more than one in a previous video so you, you, you go ahead and, um, and check it out referring to Prince Harry's um, revelation that he killed 25 enemy fighters Connor Collins said that's not how you behave in the army it's not how we think he has badly let the side down we don't do notches on the rifle bot okay don't do notches notches a synonym for the word notches um, is it means cut or grooves right we don't do not just on the rifle spot but this is is the the rear part of the rifle like the one like the thing that the person hold when um, he's shooting at somebody so it means that they don't do uh, any markings on the rival's bot so it seems that Prince Harris was doing it because he said that he killed 25 enemy fighters so he was basically according according to the context of this uh, phrase do not just on the, on the rival's bot it indicates that he was basically counting his victims that's the, the meaning counting victims right we never did. The ex colonel who gained worldwide, and we have here the word worldwide. Worldwide means globally, universal. We can also say nation, nationwide means throughout the nation or all over the nation or country, country wide, right? So we can use this were to connotate that the event or the thing happened in a certain way worldwide nationwide countrywide fame for an eve of battle speech eve in this case is any like um uh, like an event that happened before something for example new year's eve new year's eve which is the celebration or the the, the day before 
right before the before New Year's. So the same here for a need for battle battle speech. So this speech was before uh, the battle started. The troops in Iraq said, "Harry has now turned against the other family, the military." that once embraced him having trashed his birth family. He accused Prince Harry of choosing an alien path. So here again we have a preposition of and we have a verb here. So the rule is clear. After a preposition, if it comes a verb, the verb should have ing. Again here, path and of pursuing riches he does not need. So here suing again after the preposition of we use the verb in ing. In the end, in the end, a synonym for the word in the end, which means eventually, finally, right? Finally, in the end is the same thing. In the end. So that's that's just that's a synonym. I see only disappointment and misery in his pursuit of riches. He does not need and his rejection of family and comradely love that he badly needs. So does not. So we are using does not is a symbol present. Does not, he does not. And we're using does not because we're using the subject he. And with he we use do, does not. Does not need, does the verb. Right? I think I'm going to I'm going to finish the video here. Um, hopefully I have clarify or explain some um, basic rules. But before finishing the video, I'm going to read the whole thing so that you have the pronunciation of the article that I analyzed today. Harry has turned against military, says ex commander. A retired commanding officer has accused Prince Harry of turning against his military family after having trashed his birth family. In his memoir, the Duke of Success describes killing 25 Taliban fighters in Afghanistan as chess pieces taken off the board. Ex-Colonel Tim Collins said that was not how you behave in the army. Prince Harry gives details about his time as a helicopter pilot in Afghanistan in his memoirs pair. BBC News has obtained a copy of the book after it was put on sale early in Spain. In it, Prince Harry reveals for the first time that he killed 25 enemy fighters which is perfectly possible after two tours in the Helmand region of the country. It wasn't a statistic that filled me with pride, nor did it make me ashamed, he writes. When I was plunged into the heat and confusion of battle, I didn't think about those as 25 people. You can kill people if you see them as people. In truth, you can hurt people if you see them as people. They were chess pieces taken off the board, bad guys eliminated before they kill good guys. They trained me to other them, and they trained me well. Responding to the prince's comments, a senior Taliban leader, Anas Hakani, tweeted, Mr. Harry, the ones you killed were not chess pieces. They were humans. They had families who were waiting for their return. I don't expect that the International Criminal Court will summon you on the human rights activists will condemn you because they are deaf and blind for you. Speaking to Forces News, retired commanding officer Colonel Collins condemned the book by calling it a tragic money-making scam. 
referring to Prince Harry's revelation that he killed 25 enemy fighters. Colne said, Colonel Collins said, that's not how you behave in the army. It's not how we think. He has badly let the side down. We don't do notches on the rifle bat. We never did. The ex-colonel, who gained worldwide fame for a eve of battle speech to troops in Iraq, said, Harry has now turned against the other family. The military that once embraced him having trashed his birth family. He accused Prince Harry of choosing an alien path and of pursuing riches he does not need. In the end, I see only disappointment and misery in his pursuit of riches. He does not need and his rejection of family and Kimberly love that he badly needs. Alright, I think uh, this is the end of, of the video. And take care. Have a nice one.